czajnikowy.pl. Dzisiaj wyjątkowy odcinek czajnikowy.pl. Mamy fantastycznych gości, którzy pokażą nam, jak przygotowuje się herbatę w Indiach. Tradycyjną indyjską herbatę, co tam jeszcze się pije, jakiej herbaty się używa, jakich składników się używa, jak to zrobić w domu, w każdym polskim domu. Ja jestem bardzo ciekaw. E, przywitajmy się z Nisergiem i Ruci, którzy przygotują nam tą herbatę. Ja zostawiam ich e, z Wami, Was z nimi. Oddaję cały stolik, cały kadr i cały odcinek. Słuchamy. Namaste to all the viewers. Uh, today we are going to prepare uh, some typical and traditional Indian tea, which is a very uh, famous uh, as a name of a masala tea, because uh, in uh, India everywhere you will find a masala in all the uh, good cooking stuffs. So today we are going to prepare uh, a typical Indian masala tea, and we use uh, some ingredients uh, which is very essential for Indian tea. And with the two main ingredients for Indian tea is a masala like uh, ginger and uh, cardamom, okay. And uh, this is a black uh, tea uh, from Assam. Assam tea is a black tea, and it is a very strong tea. So here I use this uh, black uh, masala tea, uh, black tea from Assam in a very dust and very fine form, okay. And with this we use uh, milk and uh, uh, sugar for the preparation of uh, entire uh, tea. So let's start and uh, let's see how Indians prepare a tea. So first we add some water. Water is uh, not in more quantity because uh, we use milk in the basic Indian masala tea because we believe that uh, uh, milk uh, give a very good uh, texture with uh, Assam tea because generally Assam tea is very strong and Assam tea contains very high level of uh, uh, tannin. So to remove this uh, bitterness of this tannin we uh, generally use uh, add or uh, use milk with a tea so we can have uh, this uh, smoothing effect uh, when we drink a tea. And uh, if I uh, tell something about uh, Indian tea, then tea is a very uh, essential part of a, a, a social community. So whenever uh, some meeting or whenever two people mo meet a first time or whenever it is a social gathering, we always start our meeting with offering a tea. So tea is a very essential component in our uh, social uh, behavior. So. Here you will see this, uh, we boiling water and add uh, 2 or 3 teaspoon of uh, Assam black dust tea and then we add some uh, sugar in it uh, because it also believe that, that raw sugar is not good for health. So we add uh, the uh, sugar in the very uh, first beginning of this preparation of the tea. So when its sugar is boiled with water, so it will be uh, not very harmful to our body. So here is the preparation for the uh, boiling part and the boiling part is very important because uh, in the boiling uh, the tea is properly boiled in the water so you will uh, have some good fragrance in it and uh, the contain of uh, sugar is also properly mixed and it's give a very uh, pleasant flavor and uh, now the you can uh, feel the aroma come start when it's boiled with the water. So you, you can feel this uh, aroma. The second important part of tea, uh, especially Indian traditional tea is a masala. So tea masala is a, a very versatile in India. So you will find a different kind of flavors and different kind of masala used in the tea in the different part of India. Like if I say some uh, part of uh, western part of India, like uh, Maharashtra and Gujarat, you will find the uh, more proportion of this uh, uh, ginger. And uh, in uh, some northern part, you will find the mixture of uh, um, ginger with cardamom or uh, some different ingredients. So it, we cannot specify this uh, masala, but it is uh, only uh, most focused on the choice of a people that which masala they use. 
for uh, me if I uh, tell, uh, specify you so I don't like uh, the more taste of this cardamom so I always prefer to drink a tea with uh, this uh, ginger so it's a ginger tree tea uh, in a traditional so I think our masala is almost prepared and uh, Ruchi is adding masala and it is also necessary that masala should boil with water so the use of water is only for a boiling purpose when it's boiled properly uh, with all the masala and the ginger and tea uh, it definitely uh, have some good uh, flavor in tea so boiling is the most important part of Indian tea there is also one uh, uh, story and then hypothesis that uh, Britishers are the first who use milk in the tea but uh, uh, India has, uh, has a good uh, uh, milk country uh, we have very good breed of cows in India and buffaloes and cows so we have a very rich uh, with milk so it is also one of the reason that we are adding milk in our every ingredient especially in tea also Marzę, żeby się napić, marzę, żeby skosztować. Aromat jest naprawdę intensywny. Od razu wyczuwa się bardzo charakterystyczny zapach e, takiej indyjskiej herbaty. Wyśmienita. Naprawdę bardzo gęściutka, bardzo słodziutka, ale bardzo wyraźnie wyczuwa się imbir. Dodaje takiej pikantnej nutki. Jest tu go zdecydowanie więcej niż ja zwykle dodaję do takiej herbaty. E, no i herbata asamska. To jest coś, co tutaj wybija się na wierzch i właśnie to zrozumiałem. Dlaczego musi to być drobna herbata asamska, która jest bardzo mocna, ponieważ w tej ilości mleka i cukru i tych wszystkich dodatków musi ona być naprawdę potężna, żeby wydostać się na powierzchnię. I bardzo wyraźnie wyczuwam tu herbatę. Jest to naprawdę herbata z dodatkami, więc ja jestem zachwycony. Na pewno będę pijał. Bardzo Wam dziękuję za przybycie i nauczenie nas, jak się robi taką pyszną herbatę, zwłaszcza że powinniśmy o tej porze roku, tak jak powiedziałeś, dużo jej pić. To tyle z naszej strony. Do zobaczenia na Czajnikowy.pl Czajnikowy.pl